Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I am finally here after much anticipation with my closet organization video. This is also a closet makeover because you'll see the before and after. I completely redid everything inside of my closet and I'm absolutely in love with it. So I hope you guys will get some good ideas from this. So what I have now in my current house is a small size walk-in closet, but I am aware that closets come in all shapes and sizes. So I'm going to talk about how we can modify all of these ideas for a smaller size closet. The big theme here is utilizing a lot of the vertical space in our closet versus just the horizontal space and the one bar where clothes can hang from. We're not just talking clothing. Also, I'm going to show you how I organize my shoes, boots, accessories, jewelry, handbags, all that kind of fun stuff. I think what I'm most excited and proud of in this closet makeover is the fact that I have a custom closet look and feel for a fraction of the price just by putting in some shelves. I need to thank my stepdad. He was able to do this for me. It was not that hard to do. It's just three shelves. You guys will see in a minute what I'm talking about and it really helped transform the space. So anyway, with all of that said, I'm not gonna talk too much and let's go ahead and jump into some ideas for closet organizations. Okay, so here's what my closet looked like before and now I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I reorganized it. The first thing I did was install three shelves on this back wall in order to better utilize the vertical space. Another idea here is to put in a dresser depending on your closet size and space, whatever works for you, but the shelves are really easy to put in and I decided to go with these adjustable shelves so I could change the configuration if I ever need to. The baskets to organize my clothes I went with are these white ones from Ikea and they were about $10 each. What I really love about this basket system is I was able to subcategorize all of my clothing items. So rather than just putting all of my tops together, I put casual tops in one bin, nice tops, workout tops, crop tops. So it is really easy to grab exactly what I need. And I use a label maker to label each bin because you guys know I will find any excuse in the world to use my label maker. So this is how all of the bins look like put together. For undergarments, I found these awesome organizers from Amazon and a four piece set was only $13, so really good price. One of them is for bras and you can see it's really nice to have them all stack up like this and it happened to fit perfectly inside my bins, so that was nice. And they also have these other dividers. One is really great to use for underwear, so each pair could get its own little slot rolled up. And these other two organizers you can use for socks or sticky bras or even scarves. What I decided to use for my underwear and socks was actually this three drawer container that I found at Ikea for $15. The top drawer I'm using for my nicer underwear, the middle is for my casual slash pregnancy underwear, and the bottom is for socks. So this is how I have my undergarments all organized. I used another one of these three drawer sets for my jewelry. I put my necklaces in the top two drawers and the bottom drawer is for my rings and watches. For my earrings, I have them all set up on this earring tree which I already had and I have them separated by silver and gold earrings. I put this all on the middle shelf like so because I tend to pick out my jewelry while I'm getting dressed so this is just the most convenient setup for me. On the top shelf I put these wicker bins I found at Target and these have bigger bulkier items in them like blankets, robes, my travel bags, and holiday clothes. These are lighter weight than the other bins so they're easier to grab from the top shelf. For my purses, backpacks, and hats, I use a coat rack to organize these. I put them in the corner of my closet. I really like this method because it helps your bags and hats keep their shape and it makes it really easy to just visually see everything that you have. And as a side note, I did an entire video on purse organization with a lot more detail and I will have that video linked down below. Next to this is my new hamper. I decided to upgrade to a nicer hamper system, which I'm in love with. This one has three baskets so you could sort your clothes, lights, darks, and colors, or however you wanna sort your clothes. And I love that it's on wheels, so it's really easy to move around. Each of the individual baskets are removable, so you could remove and wash each set of clothes as they fill up. Now for my shoes, starting with boots, I'm using this really cool boot rack organizer that I found on Amazon. I like how it helps your boots keep their shape and somehow I only have one pair of boots at the moment. I think the others must have gotten lost or donated by mistake in my move. But for now, this is what I have going on for my boots. And for all of my other shoes, I just found this simple shoe rack. This is nothing fancy, but it is well made. This is also from Amazon and the dimensions fit perfectly for the space that I needed. I have 
have my shoes sorted by casual on the top and then the nicer shoes on the bottom. And the last component to finish out my closet is all of my hung up clothes. So above the hamper on the right side of the closet, I put all of my jackets and coats. And then on the left side in the back are all of my nicer special occasion dresses. And in the front are my more casual everyday dresses. And the last piece is this hanger with curtain rings on it, which I use to hang all of my maternity tank tops. So those are all of the elements. And now here's just an overview of how everything looks all put together. All right, guys, so those are my ideas for today. If you did enjoy it, please just take two seconds and hit the thumbs up button. It would really help me out. And also, if you are new here and you just stumbled across this video, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm almost eight months pregnant now, and I'm in hardcore nesting mode. The nesting is so real. I want to organize any and everything at this moment. So there's gonna be a lot more organization and cleaning videos here on my channel. If that's something you're interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button. And with all of that said, thank you guys so much as always for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!